this is courtesy of the Friday and the Kids subreddit, of course. And I just wanted to quickly mention this because, you know, you know, I'm a big fan of Brendan Shaw on this podcast. <laughs> um, I heard him mention something or I saw this clip on the Friday and the Kids subreddit where he essentially bemoans, you know, um, haters and haters, as he likes to say, and talks about how they don't have a life and how they're losers and blah, 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 blah. You know, the common soundbite that kind of comes from a guy like that. And it just got me thinking overall, um, why is it people like him, and I think Joe Rogan to some extent, I don't think he does it a lot because I think he's smart enough to not always kind of poke that haters or losers and sort of stuff because at the end of the day, it's just going to bring unnecessary, you know, trolls to your account. You don't want to keep telling people that they're idiots who watch you because, you know, they're going to come out and start saying stuff. So just leave it alone. And I think for the most part, he's aware that he doesn't have that many haters, really. He has people that want to cancel him, especially in the mainstream media, because he makes a lot of money. But for the most part, he's not really got haters the way that Brendan does. You know, people legitimately don't like Brendan. Um, he probably represents everything they hate in society in terms of being, you know, not very good at his job, but still immensely successful and rich and all this stuff. I don't know what it is, but there is something underlying about him as a person that people despise to the to the core that, that they just can't stop reminding themselves why they hate him so much and it's so visceral and it's made me question because i think to myself hasn't he ever wondered in his brain why people hate him so much like there's a 50 i think at the, at the last point of checking if i'm not mistaken the yeah the the fire and the kids subreddit is at fifty six thousand plus people right again a lot of those people are grandfathered in because they were fans of the show but originally when they joined the subreddit but as um Ariel Hawan you've so eloquently mentioned one time those guys initially most of the major world guys were definitely fans of the show first so they started out as fans and then his personality was so grating that they then turn into haters now i know a lot of the subreddits of podcasts do end up being that way i think a good example is call her daddy there was a point when the call her daddy subreddit was full of praise the bon appetit the youtube channel same sort of thing they were full of praise for the people that hosted that show and then it turns but usually it turns because of you know for a reason it doesn't turn out of the blue um the call her daddy it turned because the girls ended up having a falling out and you know that drama ensued people had to pick their sides and the bon appetit thing same sort of thing right they had a big scandal there in terms of representation all this sort of stuff and people rep you know response to it you know basically dictated who fell in what lane who fell in what camp you know basically that's what happened so there's always a turn there's always an event and I feel like sometimes if you're conscious enough, if you're, there's two ways to go about it. Either you just ignore it completely, this, these communities like Joe Rogan does. He doesn't, I don't think he probably has checked his subreddit ever in his life. He just care, doesn't care. Probably has somebody filtering back some stuff that he needs to know about. Cool. Or you do like a Lex Friedman and you police your own subreddit. I think Lex Friedman, Lex Friedman set up his own Lex um, subreddit. He bans people all the time on there. If you, if you don't say nothing, he likes on there. And for the most part, it's very, police this but like obviously people are like you know it's kind of it's strict if you say too many things that kind of divert or kind of you know sound a bit hatey they'll kind of take you out straight away but to kind of suddenly say everyone that comments on you or that has anything bad to say about you is a loser it's just strange it's really strange i never and again i just think because there's so many people on that subreddit has it ever do you think crossed his mind to think why do they hate me and is there anything that i could do or is there anything that they're saying that's got merit don't get me wrong i don't think he should go on the subreddit and try to win people over that's never going to happen because at this point he's a locale in the same way that wings and dsp and these kind of guys right you know, dsp are the ones i kind of dark side feel i hate the most in terms of being a terrible content um creator out there and somebody who clearly scamming and taking advantage of these kind of um fans and their generosity but in general, when you see his wings get on live stream and try and talk to his fans or try and talk to his distractors about stuff, it doesn't necessarily work. Now, it does obviously a lot of those guys, their personalities and the lack of accountability and the lack of self-awareness, just grating, right? Especially wings of redemption. Like he, there's nothing that he, he can always explain everything away. Everything was because he was young, because he was a shock jock. He never takes responsibility for anything. Even just the other day, I saw a video of wings redemption saying that he basically, um, what he the only reason why he's so fat and overweight i think he's like 470 pounds is because he drinks too much soda supposedly he thinks he puts on he thinks he put on 40 pounds just because of soda alone and it's like bruv you're on live stream all the time we just saw a video of you the other day eating a pizza at 4 a.m in the morning don't you think that contributed to your 40 pounds but anyway this is a clip of brendan 
basically talking about the haters and saying well, how he doesn't get them and they're all whatever losers let's play the clip like you're, you're just the like imagine the biggest loser in your school just the negative kid if you're walking down the hallway and you're like cool shoes you're like excuse me you're the worst kid in the school dude you wouldn't give a fuck but now all those losers have a place to you know like oh i'm a loser you're a loser let's get together you know so they they can they have a, a tribe you know he also said hurt people hurt people so I yes. mean, who knows what they're going through but still stop doing it this doesn't shit. matter yeah, stop doing it this doesn't shit. matter it's just not a winner's mentality you know you're never gonna get out of your mom's basement doing this stuff you yeah, gotta go get something. out of there get a girl do something do some do anything. challenge yourself yeah yeah create your own content man do your own shit whatever it is man yeah it's a weird thing to say i think because it's not you know i i i'm a fairly well-adjusted human you know i have a job i stay in my own place not my parents basement i've had girls i've got girls. I, 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 i've got friends i've got a social group like i don't understand this idea that everyone that's commenting negative things or maybe calling you out on your bs online is somehow a you know cheeto dust fingered you know wings of redemption looking like nick beard it's not the truth like this is when you put out content online you have to expect to get positive and negative reactions it's just going to happen it just is what it is if you say if you talk about enough enough stuff online myself included people are going to have either a positive or a negative reaction to you or a non plus reaction just keep it moving but if they want to say something back it doesn't mean that they are now especially if it's negative that it's immediately invalid and it immediately means that person's a loser immediately means what they have to say has no worth that they're a homeless cat like no that's not how the life goes and nowadays i don't think especially with the access and the ease of which you can comment on things you can downvote you can like you can share you can quote tweet it doesn't take too long to you know grab your phone while you're in a meeting or on zoom or in the toilet and just quickly leave a comment say oh that's a dumb clip brendan sounds like that sounds like an idiot why can't he pronounce walk why can't why does he think there's a river that runs through the Amazon? Like it's easy to just comment those things and just say it. It doesn't require any brain power. And I think a lot of people who are on that subreddit aren't people who are unemployed, aren't people who are starving, aren't people who are, you know, sexless and don't fag chicks, as this guy says. Like, no, they're just regular guys that don't like you as a person. And for whatever reason, he's never he's never wrangled with the idea about why he doesn't why he's not liked. Because I think in general, in my opinion, I've always thought the actual best content that creators out there, I think of people like, like them or hate them, the poor brothers, right? I think the reason why they're so good at what they do is because they're aggressively, ferociously self-aware. Like they know exactly why people don't like them. And for the most part, they double down and lean into it. But they know why. They're aware why people don't like them. I think for the, some to some extent, you could say maybe Jake has made more of an uh, is Jake the older one. Whoever the older one is, he's made more of an adjustment to kind of be more likable, right? But the younger one is still like you know on the line trolling people, saying crazy shit. Like he doesn't care because he's not. But I'm sure he's aware why people don't like him and he's lead into it and monetize it for himself. But for whatever reason, this redact can't do it. He's, he's incapable of doing it to the point where now he's got this approach when it comes to content creation where he doesn't look at comments i don't read comments i don't do this i don't do that no you should read your comments brother you should maybe see what people are saying you should maybe gauge how people are responding to your shows maybe gauge what they don't like what they did like like it's, it, it might help and inform what you're doing and i've always said from the beginning i think if he would just be more aware and lean into it from the beginning from the onset i think this whole trouble started from that ama and how negative responded to that and maybe you know yeah maybe it was started with the negative turn when he shared that story about him throwing his teammate in they used to play football with through a glass window or whatnot right he got caduce for a window maybe that was the whole point but he never at one point kind of had realized or kind of came to some sort of conclusion as to or maybe just thought about it for a second like why do people hate me he never never ever crossed his mind and it's just funny that for whatever reason especially that ellie podcasting scene especially the people within the rogan's orbit they seem to have this idea that if they put out content and people don't like it it's because they're haters and if they're haters it means that they're unemployed losers that don't have sex with women it's like what like can i just like not like your special can i just not think you're funny can i think humping a chair isn't comedy 
can I think maybe you have some redacted opinions? Am I just allowed to say that? Just move on and just continue my day. Go on to my job. Go back to my family. Like, it's pretty easy to do. We see Brendan doing all the time. Whenever we see pictures of him and his family and really hanging around, he's always on his phone. It's easy to be on your phone and just be around your family or doing your work or at your job and still throw an opinion out there. It's not that difficult. I never understand why he says these kind of things. It's really bizarre. Really, really bizarre. And then the other thing I wanted to quickly mention was this clip about um, his inability to say repercussions. Um, and for whatever reason, he says repercussions. Oh, his face is super inflamed here. But what's, what's this about? The whole mispronunciation of things. Is this, or oh, even me, I just said it badly there. The whole mispronunciation of things. Is this like a consequence of CTE? Does he have a legit speech impediment? And if he does have a speech impediment, I've always found it interesting when people, especially when you meet foreigners who are like learning English, the best ones I love are the ones who like speak English, even though when they're learning English, they speak English with the same veracity and the same fast cadence as they would speak their native tongue. I love that shit. Like, it's like, I don't care. I'm just going to get these words out. You're going to figure it out on the fly. But this guy's not, he's not foreign. He's, he's native speaking English and whatever it may be. He went to college, supposedly graduated, supposedly, right? Why is he incapable of pronouncing normal standard words? Like I've seen many things. It's like, it blows my mind how he just can't pronounce stuff. And this is him basically talking about, you know, if haters say something and they bump into you on like, if you bump into a hater, there'll be repercussions. But just hear how he says repercussions. repercussions. Obviously, you'll see with the clip um, what it means. But it's just weird, isn't it? How, how he says it. It's just really weird. It, it, the problem is there's no consequence. Like if Ari did that to me, you're going to get your ass whooped. Yeah. Especially around my kids. There's going to be repercussions. That's the problem. He knows Bert's not going to do anything. Yeah. You do that to Rogan, there's going to be repercussions. Yeah. You do that to Tom, there's probably going to be repercussions. But Bert's so fun and playful that Bert repercussions like what the fuck does that mean i don't know anyway let's move on from that one 